Welcome to NDTR Spotlight, the corner of the internet where NDTR shine. I'm your host, Maria Lorraine. And today I don't have a guest, but I have a topic that I have been really digging into and thinking through these past couple of weeks. And that is with our name, NDTR, and also talking a little bit about dietitian, not also the other name, RDN. And so I shared my journey before on this podcast of becoming an NDTR to see if I wanted to stay in the field and then eventually progressing to becoming a dietitian. And so I've done that journey, but I've found that as an NDTR, one of the biggest frustrations I had and I heard from other NDTRs is that nobody knew what the credential was or what we could do. Even NDTRs were like, what exactly can I do? I mean, there's things right now on the academy, but it still can be confusing stepping into this field that nobody seems to know much about. And so the podcast obviously was to bring awareness to the credential, to let other NDTRs hear what other NDTRs are doing, spike some out-of-the-box thinking, and really dive into the career as an NDTR. And I think the podcast is doing that. And so there was that that frustration I had as an NDTR, and I've heard other NDTRs had. But now I've stepped into the realm of being a dietitian. I've been a dietitian for a little over a year now, not very long. However, this conversation of no one knows what it is, is still coming up. Believe it or not, the world of dietetics, people know what dietitians are. Super easy. NDTRs trying to work on that. But outside of the world of dietetics, no one cares. Nobody knows. I have the privilege of working in a clinical setting and an outpatient setting and having some of my own clients. So I'm kind of all over the place and it's a beautiful space to be in. But when I am bringing on clients or going to see a patient and I say, hi, I'm the dietitian. They say, okay, mind you, I do work with kids. So they are young, um, but they don't know what a dietitian is. When the tech or the person on the floor explains to the kids that I'm a nutritionist, the kids say, oh, okay, we're going to talk about food. Like it clicks, they understand. And so that's clearly with the pediatric population, it is different. And so I can say I'm a dietitian, but it's easier just to say, I'm a nutritionist. I'm here to talk about nutrition. I'm a dietitian as well. And so kind of introduce the idea of dietitian, but be okay with them calling me a nutritionist. And then the same thing with clients. These are, I have other clients who are doing pretty well off. And when I say I'm a nutritionist or a dietitian, they're like, what is that? And these are educated people. They're not children. They're grown adults. They're working. They have a career. They still don't really know what a dietitian is. When I say nutritionist, it makes sense to them. And they feel comfortable calling me a nutritionist. And so is it worth the battle of saying, no, please call me a dietitian because of the schooling I went through. No, please call me call me an NDTR because of the schooling I went through. I don't think it is. And I would argue it's not because whatever schooling you have, people don't care really. I mean, the title is nice for networking purposes and when you're in the industry, but nutrition is a, is a field of, bringing people in to help them, right? And so they don't care, which is shocking to me because I really was putting a lot of weight into the credentials that I had, but they don't care. Your clients, your patients don't care. What they do care is that you're giving them sound nutrition knowledge that what you're saying makes sense and what you're saying is going to help them. So that should be the priority, right? Not your name, not your credential. It's what you can do for them. And so this conversation, this thought process, why am I bringing up now in the field of dietetics? <laughs> you're probably very, very well, well aware that a lot of people are frustrated when people call themselves nutritionists and they don't have the same schooling as an NDTR. And it's frustrating. And I think what's most frustrating about it, at least for me, is when I see people who call themselves a nutritionist and they're doing great. They have a private practice. They're changing people's lives. They are making a name for themselves, and they didn't go through the same structure as I went through. And so I think I wanted to pause, and I wanted to reflect, and really dig into that, and be like, okay, wait, well, what is it? And I, as I said earlier, it's it's the knowledge that they bring. It's the knowledge that they have. You don't have to necessarily have a very strict curriculum. Is it good? Yes. 
Am I saying having an indie chair credential or a dietitian credential is wrong? No. What I am saying is we can't put all of our marbles into that basket. We have to come with something for the clients. We have to come with the knowledge. And then we speak to that. We don't just say, I'm an NDTR. We say, I can help you with weight loss because of this. Boom, bam, boom. I can help you with nutrition coaching. I've done it before. And this is how we're going to do it for you. I can, I've seen progress and I strongly believe I can get this for you. And then you give them sound nutritional knowledge and ed- education and you help them with mindfulness and they see the difference. And then they're going to know that something's different about you. And you can bring up, well, yeah, I have schooling in this. I, went, I have my NDTR credential and you can explain it to them then, but initially it doesn't matter. They need to know what you know. And so, NDTR audience, I'm asking you to walk through this type of thought process with me and really begin to think outside the box. I know we're so good at doing that here, but I'm stretching our limits. Next week, I have a nutritionist on this podcast, not an NDTR, not a dietitian, just a nutritionist. She got her credentialing offline. So this is the type of person that I have seen and even I have kind of turned my nose up to and be like, well, what do you actually know? And I realized that was wrong. And so we sat down with her. We talked through a lot of things and she has a business. She's doing well and she's changing people's lives. And so I think we can take the opportunity to learn from somebody, see what they're doing right, and then capitalize on it. Like what can we mimic that she is doing or whatever, or whatever nutritionist is doing to enhance our practice and to reach our goals? An NDTR credential is enough. You don't have to keep going to become a dietitian, but you have to step into the world and you might just have to call yourself a nutritionist and begin to look for opportunities with that because that's what people recognize. And you are qualified and more than capable of being that nutritionist at a really high level. So next week, be on the lookout. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment down below if you've been thinking through this or if you think I'm completely off, off my wagon with this idea that we need to rethink how we talk about our, our titles and not be too boggled down with having people call us NDTR, know what it is, or having people call you a dietitian. Just think you should let it go. So let me know what your thoughts are. would love to have a little conversation going. So if you see a comment, comment on that comment. I think it's a topic that is worth having. And I think it's a topic that can really open the doors for NDTRs if they can get over that hump and know that even if you become a dietitian, it's not going to change the way people look at you. It's your knowledge that you're bringing and it's your confidence in the knowledge that you have and how you can actually help people. All right. That's what I have for you guys today. I will see you next week in a podcast video on YouTube or on Spotify or on Apple. We're trying to be, we try, try and be as many places like as I can to spread this message for NDTRs. All right. See you guys in the next episode.